I go go koro, I go go komaro, I go go koro, I go go komaro, I go go koro, I go go komaro. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a very easy, simple tutorial on how to do your brows. So first off, I'm going to start by moisturizing my face using the Moisture Junior. <laughs> wow. Using the oil free moisturizer by Neutrogena. That was funny. Next, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. Yeah, I know it's a lot of names. But it's just a simple primer that helps a lot. Especially if you're putting on the whole shabam, full face, and everything. So this would be your next step. Now after I've finished priming my face, I move on to my brows. And I brush them up and prep them. Now right now I'm using a normal pencil from the beauty supply store in dark brown. But you guys can use whatever you want to use. It's totally your preference. You can either use the pencil or you can use a dip brow but if you're a beginner I suggest that you use a pencil because you will have more control over what you're doing now whenever I'm doing my brows I always start from the bottom I outline the bottom first and then I outline the top of the eyebrow and then I shade it it's almost like coloring So for the beginning of the brow, I do more of upward strokes and follow the hair in which it grows. And I also go lighter on the pencil so it gives me more of a transition effect. So I have three simple steps you guys can follow in sculpting your brows. The first step, you guys can use either an eyebrow pencil, a ruler, or the end of your brush to help you determine where the inner of your brow should start. So your inner brow should always start in line with the outer part of your nostril. That's like the end of your nose. Either to your left or to your right on both brows. Now your arch should line up with the outermost edge of your pupil. And the end of your brow should always taper off to the outer edge of your eye. Now this might sound a little bit confusing to you guys so I'll definitely insert a picture so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So here I'm finishing up the eyebrow and then we'll move on to concealing. So next, I'm taking my mascara wand and I'm brushing up my eyebrow hairs. And I'm just making sure that everything is blended before I move forward and conceal.
Now when brushing, you want to be very careful, especially with the beginning of your brows, because you don't want to move any product from the beginning of the brows. So it wouldn't look like anything's patchy or missing or anything. So you just go lighter on the beginning of your brow. So next, to conceal, I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. I'm going to use this shade to conceal the bottom of my eyebrows and for the top. I will use a different shade. Now I went for more of the highlighted look because I love to see it, but you guys can go for more of a natural look if you'd like and use a concealer that is closer to your complexion. Now I'm taking my flat brush, my flat concealer brush, and I'm dipping it in some concealer and I'll start by my arch of my brow to conceal. After I finished drawing the line and concealing under the actual brow, I pulled the concealer downward instead of pulling it across because downward is always easier to blend out. Now for some strange reason, on my right brow, I always start on my arch, but on my left brow, I always start at the beginning of my brow. I don't know. It's weird, but it helps. So I'm somewhat of a perfectionist, <laughs> so I really try as hard as possible to get both of my eyebrows looking like twins, even though the eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters. So next, I'm taking my flat brush and I'm just blending all the concealer out and making sure everything is blended nice and smoothly. So now that that's blended, we're moving on to the top of our brows and I'm using Espresso Me. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> I'm using Espresso by LA Girl and I'm just going to conceal the top of my brows. Now for this step, I'm taking a similar concealer flat brush and I'm just doing some light strokes over the brow and following the shape. Thank you. 
After I finish concealing the brow, I blend outward away from the brow rather than dragging the concealer down the shape of the brow. After I finish concealing, I take my foundation brush just to ensure that everything is blended seamlessly before I apply my foundation. Now next, I'm going to set my eyebrows with Control Freak by NYX. Now this really does the job because after setting your eyebrows with this, I promise you, your eyebrows won't move a muscle. This is usually my last step, but since I wanted to show you guys an eyebrow tutorial, I'm showing you guys everything that I do. I'm also taking the pencil and going back in with the edge there, with the end of my brow there because I wasn't satisfied with how it looked. So this was just an eyebrow tutorial, so I did the rest of my makeup off camera and I added some highlighters and foundation, eyelashes, lip gloss and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and all that jazz and I'll see you guys in my next video.